Hi guys, I'm here today to do the last three week wrap up, weekly wrap up. Sorry, I haven't been posting. Um, I just haven't really been um, feeling like filming or reading um, with everything that's going on in this world. Um, everyone just needs to love each other and stop with the hate um, and all, Black Lives Matter so much and we just need to love each other and stop the hate um and sorry i just haven't been posting um i really haven't been reading all that much either um so there's that it's just a little depressing with everything that's going on um and i've been working a lot so i've been tired um but I'm here today to talk about the last three weeks where I read 17 books, so this video is going to be long, um, but yes, let's get started. The first one is Stripped Bear by Tessa Bailey. This was a Read Me Romance podcast, um, and I gave this three out of five stars. This follows Penelope and Royce. And Royce is a male stripper, and it's their story. I gave this three out of five stars. Um, this was book book one read for the Contemporary Weekendathon, um, and this I think was for the challenge read something you would enjoy. So yes, or quick read, I don't know. But anyways, I read this three out of five stars. And then the next one, I have a full book review talk on this, and that is Bad Boys Break Hearts by Macaulay Smelter, which I'll leave the book talk down below. I am on her ARC team, so I got an ARC of this. Um, this is unofficially in book four of the Us series. I'm, I'm counting it as book four in the Us series um, because it, it follows kids from the Trace and Olivia and Willow Creek series. Um, so yes, but this follows Rory and Mason. This is a second chance romance. They were next door neighbors to each other um, and then something happens to Rory and she moves away and she is now a freshman in college and he is a senior baseball player and they meet again and it's their story. I gave this five out of five stars. Really enjoyed it. Then... I read The Guy on the Right by Kate Stewart. This was the first book by Kate Stewart I've read. Um, I listened to this on audio from Chirp. Um, this book one in the Underdog series. This follows Lainey and Theo. This is a new adult series. Um, I read this for the Moon Pack on Romanceopoly for New Pack, which is to read A Friends to Lovers story. Um, so there's that. And I gave this four out of five stars. I thought it was really cute. Um, Theo is like a, um, nerd. And then, um, they meet at a party and it's super cute. I enjoyed it. And then I read Southern Storms by Natasha Madison. This is book three in the Southern series. This I gave five out of five stars. This came out on the 19th of May and this follows Savannah and Bo and you meet both of them in the previous books. This series you do have to read in order. Um, this was my favorite book in the series so far. As I said you meet both Savannah and Bo in the pre previous books and this is just their story. And I loved it. I don't want to give you too much because, again, you have to read the first two books in the series. Um, so, yes. And then I read Blades of Glory by Tony Aleo. This um, is was the Read Me Romance podcast book um, last week's. 
Um, and I gave this five out of five stars. This follows the assassin game, um, the old and the new. Um, so you have, um, she has a few series now with the assassins. Um, and this is where it was the old versus the new, um, playing against each other. And I love this book. I love Tony Aleo. Um, I talk about her a lot on this channel. She is one of my favorite authors. She writes really great hockey romances, and I just love them. Um, I did cry in this. I'm not going to lie. I did cry. Um, there's just some scenes that in here that made me cry, um, but I really enjoyed it, and I can't wait to read more by her, um, so yes. And I'm pretty sure that's all of the books I'm going to show you on my iPad because I have the rest of them physical. So um, I'm just going to start with um, Fighting the Fall by J.B. Salisbury. Um, this is book four in the Fighting series. Um, I read this for Rita Rama. Um, this was green because Rita Rama was read the colors of the rainbow. So I read this word green and this follows Eve and Carmen. Um, and I gave this 4.5 out of five stars, listened to this on audio and loved it. Um, Cameron is a MA, MMA fighter or a M whatever. Um, and something tragic happens to him and um, he has to put his career on hold um, because he has a life-threatening injury, um, and then he meets Ava, Eva, and it's their story, um, and I really enjoyed this. This also has a little bit of an age gap, um, so if you're a fan of that, I would recommend this, um, and this series, not necessarily, you have to read in order, but I would recommend, um, but I really enjoyed that. And then I read A Father's Fight, and this was for Indigo, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this was for Indigo, for Rita Rama. And um, this is book five. This follows Layla and Blake, who you meet in book three, um, Fighting to Forget. Um, and this is just their little novella um, about um, becoming parents. Um I gave this four out of five stars and listened to this on audio. And then I read Fighting for Forever, which is book six. Um, I gave this one five out of five stars. This is the third book I read for Rita Rama for Violet. Um, and this follows Trix and Mason. And Trix is a stripper and um, Mason is um, a fighter. Um, and it's their story. I gave this five out of five stars and um, listened to this on audio. Then I read Fighting Fate by J.B. Salisbury. This is book seven um, in the series. This follows Axel and Killen. This is a friends to lovers story, um, and Axel is actually Layla's and Blake's teenage daughter, so it's her story. I gave this four out of five stars, and this was the fifth book I read um, for Rita Rama. I will talk about the fourth one I read, but um, and this was for Red, um, and I really enjoyed um, this. I gave it four out of five stars. Listened to it on audio. Um, and I won't talk about, I'll talk about the seventh, this is the seventh book, The Final Fight, which I actually read in, um, what you might call it, in June. This is one of the two books I read in June, um, and, um, this is the seventh book in, um, the fighting series, seventh and final book. Um, I gave this four out of five stars, and this was book one I read for Feel Good a Thon, um, which I'm not participating anymore because one of the hosts um, did some not so good things on Twitter, but she's not a host anymore. I just legit, 
as I said in the beginning of this video, haven't been feel been feeling like reading, so that's why I kind of stopped that too. Um, but yes, and I listened to this on audio, and this follows AJ and um, Brayden, um, and Brayden is is it whose brother is he? He's one of the guys. I think he's Cameron's brother, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, I forgot. Um, but anyways, yes. Um, I gave this four out of five stars, listened it to audio, and I think I'm gonna count this for the spring romance opoly challenge. It might be for both. I don't know. It depends on if I read um Violet Delights. Um but because that it has a green and yellowish cover and that's one of the that's the challenge for spring. So yeah, um, there's that. And then, um, I read Falling Fast by Aurora Rose Reynolds. Um, and this was a reread. Um, I read this when it came out in 2017, if I remember correctly. But I was like, I really don't remember this. I know I read it and enjoyed it, but I don't remember it. And it's so pretty. Anyways, but anyways, yeah, I read, reread this, and I gave it five out of five stars. This follows Gia and Colton, um, and I really enjoyed this, um, and, yeah, um, Gia decides to move to a small town, and, and then she meets Colton, um, and he, um, Yeah, like Colton is just relearning um, to walk and stuff because he was in a really bad accident um, and people didn't think he would walk again. So it's him rebuilding and Gia rebuilding her life too. Um, I really enjoyed this. Five out of five stars. And then I read... Flirting with Fire by Pi Piper Rain. This is the first book by her that I've read. This was book four for a readerama and orange on the cover. Um, first book by her that I read. Um, also, this was a romance reveal book box pick. Um, this is book one in the Blue Collar Brothers series. Um, I gave this 3.5 out of 5 stars. Um, this follows Madison and um, Mario. Gonna say did I, no this didn't have um and they were um let's say friends to lover I mean friends to en or enemies to lovers um they were in high school and in high school Maddie what Madison was the fat girl and um she was valedictorian and then um they meet a few years later I think it's like eleven. Um, and, um, Mario is the, he's a firefighter, and it's their story. I, I enjoyed this. Uh, 3.5 out of 5 stars. And then I read The Hating Game by Sally Thorne, and it's counted for red and, I mean, not red, wow. Yellow and blue, also for R-A-M-A -A on the cover for, um, read a -rama. Um, also this was the seventh book I read for that. Um, actually I've read, I've read, technically I read eight books that week, so I beat that challenge too. But anyways, I read this, I listened to this, I gave this three out of five stars. This was the first book by Sally Thorne I read. I'm just not a huge enemies to lovers fan or office romance. Um, that's just not me. Personally, I like Friends to Lovers or Psychic Chance a little bit better, um, and yes, um, but I still enjoyed this. I still gave it three out of five stores, um, and um, I'm looking forward to reading more by her. And then I read Marry Me by Alexandria Bishop. This is book 
five in the um, dating series. I should mention I also read the prequel. I forgot that to show you, so I don't have that one. And that's Kiss Me, um, which is dating four. And that's the prequel to uh, Giselle and Anders' book. I got that from Kindle Limited, and that was the second book I read for Contemporary of Thon, and I gave that three out of five stars. And then I read this one, which is the third book I read for the Contemporary of Thon Weekend edition. I gave this one five out of five stars, or four out of five stars, sorry, four out of five stars. Um, and I enjoyed this. I also got this from Kindle Limited, um, because lately I've been reading more on my Kindle than on my uh, paperback ones, so I read on my Kindle. Um, this is also a romance reveal book box, um, and I really enjoyed this, and this one is really cool too. I love books like give you little fun things, but um, this follows Giselle and Anders. This is a best friend siblings romance so it's one of my favorite tropes um and they met in kiss me um and they spent um quite a time fighting their attraction to one another and finally in marry me they um they get together um and i enjoyed that and then finally the last book i read was the second book I read in June, and that is Quiet Man by Krista, wow, by Kristen Ashley. This is a 1001 Dark Nights series. This is a Read Me Romance, no, this is a Romance Reveal book um, box too. Um, and the second book I read for Feel, Feel Good of Thon, I listened to this on audio. This is book one, or Point five in the Dream Team series. I gave this four out of five stars, and this follows Lottie, who is Jet's half sister from the Rock Chick series, and she is a stripper, and that um, and someone is writing her letters and threatening her, and then the strip club owner, uh, what is his name? I don't remember his name, um, hires, um, Mo, who is, like, a bodyguard, um, so he hires him, and it's their story, Lottie and Mo, and I really enjoyed it, four out of five stars, and I'm excited to continue, continue on with the Dream Team, um, series, and, yeah, those are all 17 books I read this last three weeks, um, as I said, um, it's been a rough few weeks, um, and we just need to all stop the hate and love each other, and yes, um, also I'm going to be trying to get into a routine of filming and posting, so I am going to try to post one video a week, and then on Sunday have my weekly wrap-ups. Um, so what I'm thinking of is either have it on Tuesday or Thursday, um, and then my Sunday, um, but I don't know. There may be weeks where you guys get like two videos a week, and then my Sunday, but I'm going to try really hard to post those two days a week um, and get better. And once I get starting to get better, then I will move to three days a week, which will be Tuesday and Thursday and then Sunday. Um, and yes. Um, so what are some books you read in the month of May or the beginning of June? And if you want a full review on any of these, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to. I should also mention, sorry if you hear a fan in the video. My fan is on, um, because I'm hot. Um, but there's, sorry about that. But anyways, um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys later. Bye.